Hello everybody, this is Coulter with GoFab CNC. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take your pipe cutter attachment and put it onto your GoFab CNC plasma table. This, this right here is your main roller. Next you're going to need the main drive unit which actually attaches onto your main roller. And then these next three pieces right here, these are all your uh, support rollers. And all this is is just to support the pipe that you put on there. You got your legs. Now these legs actually sit right here on the table itself. You've got your two inch pipe. This is actually what everything you see right here in front of me attaches onto got these two pieces over here. Now these actually connect to your X and is what takes your Z off of the actual arm itself and places it on the pipe cutter attachment. Just take these legs, attach it onto this flat bar on the side right here. And if you take a look, there's this little gap right here in between this one inch tubing. This is actually where that flat bar will sit. So you have to go ahead and do it like this. Next, we're going to take this two inch tubing and we're going to put it in between these little levers right here so we can mount it on. Next, we're going to take your main roller, this piece right here, and we're going to attach it onto the square tubing. And the way that goes on is you'll slide the square tubing right in between here, and then once it's on, you'll take these little levers, you'll swing them over and then you'll tighten these little knobs down to make sure that it's firm. So let's go ahead and do that. Now when you put this on, make sure that this square tubing right here is facing the arm so then you're able to throw a pipe on there. After you mount this, you gotta make sure that this square tubing is facing the arm right here. Grab your main drive unit, we're gonna attach it onto the main roller. Now the way this goes on is you're gonna slide it right down in here. And once it's all the way down, you'll go ahead and tighten. Now you'll grab this VRL cable. When you grab it, you'll notice it has an orange zip tie on it. What you'll do is you'll go ahead and bring it down here, you'll extend it. Drop it right there. Now you'll need to disconnect these two other orange VRL cables. Once you disconnect them, you can go ahead and throw this one to the side. You'll take the one that comes from the box and connect it to the one you just brought from your pipe cutter attachment. That is what's giving the pipe cutter power. Now that you got power to your pipe cutter, you're going to go ahead and take your support rollers, which are these right here, and you're going to start putting them on your two inch tubing. Now you notice these got the same little lever that your main roller had. It's the same concept. All you gotta do, slide it on just like that, swing it over, and then you'll tighten it down. Now the placement with these doesn't really matter. Um, it really just depends on how long of a pipe you have on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss them on. This piece right here, this is called the trombone. What you do with this is you'll go ahead and you'll slide it in these two slots right here off of your X. This is called your Z-Rod. What you do with this is you slide it right into here and this is what you adjust the height of your torch with. So you go ahead and you'll tighten this down and you'll move this until you see this right in line with your two inch square tubing right down there. Once you think it's lined up, then you'll come over here to these knobs and you'll tighten these down. Now, since you got this all assembled, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove your entire Z axis and then place it over here on your Z rod. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen these wing nuts so I can just slide it right on there. Then I'm gonna come over here. And for the people that do have a mister, all you have to do is remove your plate so you don't wanna get all of these hoses caught up. Remove it twist it around and you can slide it right on these knobs right here and it can just hang there right out of the way. And you're gonna remove your DB9 connector off of the X and then you should be able to just loosen these wing nuts right here and then lift your entire Z axis off just like that. Bring it over, slide it on these wing nuts right here. That is why I loosened them. Make sure it's all gripped right here and you can go ahead and tighten your wing nuts. Now this right here is an extended DB9 cable. The male end, you put it on 
Once that's on there, you'll take the female in, come over here to the ZDB9 connector, and then connect these two. Now your Z has power. All right, so now your pipe cutter is fully assembled and you wanna go ahead and throw a pipe on there. First thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to loosen your Z rod right here and lift it up so that you can make sure you have enough clearance to throw a pipe on there. And what you'll do next, you'll go ahead and take your main drive unit and you'll lift it up just like so. Now, if you'll notice, you'll see it's not sitting on these wheels right here. It's sitting on the metal. To adjust those, all you have to do is come to this end, push it in, lift it up, and then put it down to the lower level right here. You might need a screwdriver or something. That makes it a little bit easier. So now when I come to throw the pipe on there, you should be able to just spin freely. So now you got your pipe on here and it's touching all the rollers, it's flowing freely. And you want to put your main drive unit back down. You just grab it, clean it down. Now it's making just metal on metal contact. So what you want to do is go ahead and raise it back up, come back here, loosen this knob, and drop it down. And when you swing this drive unit back, you want it to be at a 90 degree angle, just like that. After that's making good contact, you want to come over here and you want to make sure your torch is down low enough so that you can cut the pipe properly as well. What you need to do is loosen your Z-Rod and then lower down your torch until you touch the metal. Once you touch the metal, raise it up about an inch and then go ahead and tighten it again. Now your pipe cover is completely assembled, ready to go. Yeah.